Welcome back, first grade. If you are either in Miss Finney's class or Miss Kelly's class, then you are in the right spot because it's time for reading. Let's get right into our materials for today. The materials that you all will need for today is a piece of paper, pencil, and of course, your brain. If you need to pause the video to go grab those things, go ahead and do that now. Great job, first grade. Now that you have all of your materials and you're ready to go, let me tell you what we're gonna be learning today. Today, you guys are gonna be able to identify multiple meaning words. Good readers know that words have more than one meaning. This helps a reader know what the text is about. For example, right here, there's a picture of a ring and then there's a phone and that also says ring. A ring could be something that you wear on your finger. A ring could also be that, ooh, hey, why don't you give me a ring on your phone? So there's multiple meanings for different words or like that word duck. We know duck is an animal and we also know duck could mean if someone's throwing something at me, I'm ducking, getting out the way. So a lot of our words have more than one meaning. As readers, it's very important for us to know those meanings. So let's take a look at how that's gonna look in our story today. Okay, first graders, I loved our story so much yesterday that I read it again and I was looking for some words that have two meanings. And guess what? I found a word in the text right up here that has more than one meaning. I found the word watch. Do you all see that word watch? Watch can mean two different things. Watch can mean that I am watching you right now. Like right now, Miss Vinny's watching you. <gasps> Watch could also mean something that you wear on your wrist to help you tell time. A watch on your wrist tells time, and when Miss Finney is watching you like this, that's something that I'm doing. That's a verb, it's what I'm doing. I'm gonna read this story to figure out which watch it is. So is my story talking about the watch that I used to tell time, which is a noun? Or is my story telling me the watch something that I'm doing? Am I watching? Okay, friends, listen closely as Miss Finney tries to figure out which kind of watch our story is talking about. Listening ears on. Shh, shh. Sun agreed and hid behind a cloud to watch. Wind began to blow little gusts. I'm gonna stop here because I already heard that word watch. It said that sun agreed and hid behind a cloud to watch. So they hid behind the cloud to watch, to tell time? No, that doesn't make very much sense. They hid behind the cloud to watch. That's something that they're doing. So that tells me that the watch that they're talking about is looking at something, not telling time. So I know that the word watch in our text means that they're looking at something. Let me read to see if that would make sense. Sun agreed and hid behind a cloud to look. <gasps> By Miss Finney saying look, that also makes sense in our story. If I were to say sat behind the cloud to uh, watch, they're not telling time. That doesn't make any sense. So today, first grade, you guys are gonna get a chance to figure out the meaning of another word that I found in the story. Are you all ready to hear it? Okay, let's take a look. Okay, first grade, I found another word in our story that has two meanings. Your job is gonna be to figure out what those two meanings are. I put a couple pictures up here to help you all out, but before you guys get started and you're like, wait, Miss Finney, what do we have to do? I'm gonna read this story to you so that you can figure out what you guys are looking for. Today, when you guys are reading, you're gonna be looking at the word steps. What word? Yeah, you're gonna look at the word steps. So with the word steps, that word steps means more than one thing. So I want you to think about what do you think those two meanings could be? I'm gonna read and I want you to listen closely for what they might mean. The traveler opened his cloak. We remember that word from yesterday, cloak is jacket. The traveler opened his cloak. Still the sun shone stronger and stronger. The traveler grew hotter and hotter and hotter. After a few more steps, the traveler loosened his cloak. Then he tore off his cloak and dropped it on the road. You win, said Wind. I am sorry I was so boastful. I'm gonna reread that sentence with the word steps. 
After a few more steps, the traveler loosened his cloak. Whew, you guys can always go back and listen to me read the word steps in the text. Your job right now, just like Miss Finney did with the word watch, is to figure out the two meanings for the word steps. I'm gonna show you guys how you're going to do that. Are you ready to see? Okay. Okay, first graders, in just a moment, you all are gonna set your papers up just like Miss Finney's paper. You're gonna draw a line down the middle, write the word steps up at the top, and then you're also gonna put a space for a picture and a place for your sentence. You guys will be focusing on the two meanings of the word steps. So, on one side, you'll draw a picture of what steps means, and you'll write a sentence that matches that picture for that meaning. On the other side, you'll write the other meaning of steps, what it means, and then you'll write a sentence to match that picture. Your pictures don't have to match the ones that Miss Finney put up here. I just put that up there to help you guys out a little bit with your learning for today. Okay, friends, you guys can get started. I'll leave the screen up for you all. Have a great day, friends. You did such an amazing job. When you're finished, make sure you guys take a picture of your work and send it to your homeroom teacher. So either myself, Miss Finney, or Miss Kelly. Send it on Seesaw, Remind, or through email. You all did such an amazing job today. Have a great day. Bye.